Mr. Secretary, as you may know, last year there were media reports about how the Office of Refugee Resettlement did not know the whereabouts of tens of thousands of unaccompanied children who have been released as sponsors since the Biden administration began. Some of my Republican colleagues have latched onto this headline to claim that the Biden administration, quote, lost these children. Let's start with the most important question. Are those children actually lost by the federal government? Yeah, I, I, again, you're right, Carson. That, that's the way it is framed. I want to be clear. Can we you explain not, why they're, in fact, not lost? Yeah, uh, first, to be clear, we have not lost 85,000 kids. Uh, we make every effort, even after we lose uh, the authority to continue to monitor the children, once we have discharged them and placed them with a vetted sponsor, we make an effort uh, on our own dime, essentially, to try to reach out to them. Uh, we, make a, we, call what we, uh, we do what we call safety and well-being calls. We try to reach the child and the sponsor three times by phone to see, to check in. The children and the sponsors are not obligated to return our call. We can't require them to do so. And by the way, even if they don't call back, that doesn't mean a child is lost. What are some of the reasons a sponsor or a child might not answer when, when HHS does follow up after release with a phone call? I'm sorry, say that again. What are the reasons a child or a sponsor might not answer when you follow up with a phone call? They may be in school. They may be uh, at a doctor's appointment. They, they may not have uh, the phone working anymore. There are any number of reasons why they don't answer. And by the way, we do other things in, in, a, in an attempt to try to contact them, including, as I've mentioned, some of these post-release services. And can you discuss why the Office of Refugee Resettlement is not able to do more, for example, why does it not go to every sponsor's house in person to talk with each child after they're released? Well, if we had the resources to do so, it would be a far easier to have a program that really reaches as aggressively. But we, what we don't do is short change in the vetting process. We make sure that we follow uh, best practices in the child welfare, welfare field when it comes to determining whether a child should be placed with a particular sponsor. Whether you're in foster care at the state level or whether you are protecting unaccompanied children in ORR, we use child welfare best practices. Thank you. It seems like the only actual lost children are the 1,000 children that were separated from their parents by the Trump administration that still have not been reunited to this day. But let's switch gears a bit. Mr. Secretary, thank you and all the hardworking staff at HHS for the important work you're all doing. While ORR does its best to care for unaccompanied minors, we know that the immigration system is broken and that comprehensive immigration reform is needed. My Republican colleagues, marquee immigration legislation, HR2, would allow unaccompanied children to languish in border patrol facilities for up to a month, force children to quickly appear before an immigration judge with no access to an attorney, and send children back to their home countries where they are at high risk for exploitation and abuse. Would this kind of legislation help or hurt unaccompanied children? Congressman, what I will tell you is that if you're going to have the best interests of that child in mind, you're going to try to be supportive of what they need. They are not adults. They don't know all the laws. They don't know all these uh, proceedings, uh, whether it's asylum proceedings or immigration proceedings. And you have to make sure that they are fully aware and those who can be responsible, an adult who's supervising them, can be available to help them out. So this legislation would not help. In your opinion, is it better to allow children to remain in the United States with vetted sponsors while undergoing a robust legal proceeding or to summarily deport them with limited due process back to their home country and the dangerous situation they just fled? Well, Congressman, uh, again, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be careful. I'm the secretary. I'm no longer a member of Congress, but I do know the laws when it comes to immigration. Asylum, uh, once you have claimed asylum, you're entitled in this country to a hearing. Uh, and that you would have to change those laws before you're able to uh, summarily uh, re remove those protections for those who claim asylum. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. My time has expired. I yield back. Chair recognizes Mr. Roy.